Lopez and Maluma on my way. 17 minutes past seven. Uh, we are actually sat in the Wolford Community Centre this morning. I feel like I'm about to run a bums and tums class uh, or get some toddlers in with their mums for a coffee morning. Uh, but no, instead, we're welcoming one of the newer cast members to EastEnders. Uh, you'll know him as Kevin in London's Burning. He recently played Del Flynn in the excellent Stay Close on Netflix, currently playing Harvey in EastEnders. Ross Boatman, morning, darling. Hi, Zoe. Welcome. Lovely to meet you. Oh, lovely to meet you. Happy birthday for last week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Did you, you have a nice, ce- <laughs> nice celebration? Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. I had a lovely time. My my, uh, my girlfriend, my lovely girlfriend, who stood just over there taking pictures, uh, took me to the Hilton for a lovely Yay. dinner. It was wonderful. I know. Yeah. This is the lovely thing, because your girlfriend, Sarah, we work with her. She takes know, the photos. <laughs> uh, it's this like, is bring, really quite bizarre. Yeah, <laughs> bring your uh, partner to work yeah. day. I love it. Um, so you've been on the show for almost a year now. How, um, how has it been? Was it everything you expected it would be? Uh, yeah, it is everything I expected to be, and, and a lot more. I mean, but but whatever you expect doesn't really prepare you for coming here. It's quite, it's you know, because it's such an iconic show. I've watched it right from the beginning, and walking onto the square and meeting all these people was kind of dream dreamlike, you know. Yeah. Uh, but it's been lovely. I got a really warm welcome from everybody, from everybody in every department. Uh, of course, you're slightly nervous coming in and, and working with these these big faces and how you're going to be received and so on. But everybody welcomed me and took me in straight away so it's, it's lovely I feel very at home here I know because it must be quite intimidating when you first walk in because some of these guys have been on the show for years and I guess they are a family because they've been together very much so yeah but you are now very much part I'm one of the family you now. are one of the family <laughs> um, and how much fun are you having playing Harvey he's had some quite tricky storylines recently yes he, he has some tricky storylines um, I think that's beginning to change now. I mean you know EastEnders obviously has a, a, a long history and a great tradition of tackling big stories and, and very important social issues and it's got a, a great team of researchers who work alongside the writers and so I put my faith in them, my trust in them to to, to handle the, whatever it is very sensitively. You know, a lot of stories are very sort of, you know, can be very controversial and divisive even, um, but they handle them really well. So from an actor's point of view, I'm just sort of want to get my teeth into the story and, and give the most convincing and entertaining uh, portrayal of that character that I can. And hopefully I did that and uh, with, with the storylines that you're talking about yeah. with my sort of far right son. Yes, Aaron, um, he's on remand. But I love the sort of light and shade because you've got Aaron on remand. That's quite a heavy storyline. And then in the meantime, a little romance with Jean. Yeah, <laughs> me and Jean Slater. Sorry, <laughs> <No>. Bab. <laughs> it's not real, it's acting. It's Sorry, it's not real, yeah. Um, <laughs> It, it, she's wonderful. Julia's just wonderful at work with. She's fantastic. She's such an amazing actor. And, um, yeah, we're having a lot of fun. And, you know, I mean, things are going swimmingly for, for Harvey at the moment. But, obviously, this is EastEnders and the course you of love never, never runs smoothly. So, you know, you can expect, expect a few bumps in the road. Uh, you're quite a good card player as well, Ross. Uh, have you managed to get any of the EastEnders uh, members playing uh, cards? I mean, if you get any downtime, you don't get a lot of downtime. You just blow my cover, Zoe. <laughs> How am I going to hustle anybody now? Yeah, everybody. <laughs> Everybody knows. Sorry. Uh, yeah, no, the, 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 everybody seems to know about my... Wherever I go, people seem to ask about my poker before about the acting, you know. It's like, you know oh, wow! You know, everybody wikis everybody now, don't they, and Googles oh, them and all that, you know. It's all out there. It's all out there. So, no, a few of the people, a few a few of the cast have showed some interest in playing, including both Charlies. Oh, yeah. Uh, they both want to play. A few of the guys want to play, but I don't know. I, I think I'll save it for the casinos. Yeah, I don't want to strip my, my lovely colleagues of all their hard-earned cash. Also, yeah. sort of doing that behind the scenes stuff um, so how many days do you shoot a week and sort of in a typical day you know how many scenes would you get through well apparently we're working quite slowly at the moment because of because of the covid restrictions it's it's much slower but i mean it's for me it feels like we're working at an incredible pace um, you know i don't know, i don't know where normally you might shoot uh, 3 minutes a day I think here we're probably shooting 10 minutes more. I don't know. You'd have to, you'd have to ask the people and know. But it, it is incredibly quick. Yeah. Um, 
What was the rest of the question? I've no idea. <laughs> I'm just excited because we're sat in the community centre. Yeah. It's really exciting to be here. I have to keep pinching myself. <laughs> uh, thanks so much. Uh, what, do, what do you think about Grey uh, and what we're going to see this week? Obviously, you can't give anything away. Ross, I can't I'm give anything away because, face. quite frankly, I don't know. That was... The <laughs> that, <laughs> they don't even tell the cast members. Well, no, they do, but uh, you, when you first arrive, you're given a mentor, one of the cast, who, who tells you where you should go and what you should who do. Was, who was your mentor? P- Perry Fennett was, was my, is, Yay, is my mentor. He's really? an old friend of mine, as right. that happens. I've known Perry for over 30 years. Love him. And uh, his tip was, I don't want to get Perry in trouble, but his <laughs> tip was, just when you get the scripts, just take out everything that's not yours, because otherwise you're going to be carrying out a pile of huge scripts yeah. with you everywhere you go. So you tend not to, and I think it's probably the same for, for most of the cast, you tend to, not to know. And I, so I, I watch the show every night, so I'm it's, gripped. It's I'm, a surprise I'm, yeah, for you yes, as it much is. as it is I for us. I can't wait to find out. <gasps> I love that. You've given nothing away. You've been a very, very good boy. Uh, Ross Boatman, we love you. Can't wait to see what Harvey has in store in his life. 7.23.